what better place to look at Colnago's first ever aero offering the concept than here at the Yas Marina Formula One circuit in Abu Dhabi. And this particular bike belongs to Alexander Porsef, the sprinter of Gazprom Rosvela. Now the concept name for this bike was actually created about three decades ago in a project that never actually saw the light of day. But this design, although it shares the name, is completely new for 2017. Now looking towards the front of the bike, it's completely cam tail design. Then you've got this truncated aerofoil top tube. The same again with the down tube. Although unique, one aero feature it does share with many aero frames on the market these days is the lowered rear seat stay, which does seem to be the fastest way to go about the back end of an aero bike. When you add up all of the savings, including the Concept2 proprietary Colnago seat post, at 50 k's an hour, this bike claims to save 20 watts over the C60, which is pretty impressive. And the frame itself weighs in without paint at 990 grams and the forks without paint 400 grams. As you'd expect from an Italian thoroughbred, it's got fully Italian componentry in the form of Campagnolo Super Record EPS, so the electronic Campagnolo group set. Now moving to the front chain set, it's uh, got an integrated SRM power meter, but really interesting gear permutations, quite an old school gear permutation as well for the powerfully built Sprinter. It's a 54, 42, a kind of ratio we more, well, we see more on TT bikes rather than aero bikes, but uh, perhaps testament to the bike's speed. And on the back, we have an 1127 gear ratio. Now the wheel set, Campagnolo Bora Ultras with an 80, so an extremely deep section wheel on the back. And on the front, Alexander Porsev has gone for a 50. Quite an interesting permutation. Again, just lends itself towards going fast. So this road bike is pretty much built up like a TT steed almost. The tyres are Tufo Elite Ride 23mm tubs. Pumped up pretty hard as you can hear. And that leads us nicely on to the direct mount proprietary B1R Colnago brakes with clearance for 28mm tyres, which makes the 23s quite an interesting choice. Now Alexander Porsev has his own saddle, which is actually badged up as a Cell Italia. Whilst moving on to the front of the bike, we have Adida Super Zero 140mm stem, aluminium, coupled with Adida Zero 100 set of bars, quite shallow, 42cm width, so pretty standard setup at the front, and of course the amount here for his SRM. A few of the other smaller details, we've got a nice Colnago chain catcher down there, elite bottle cages, look Keo blade carbon pedals, so, without further ado, let's see what all this comes in at weight-wise. Thankfully, I've been prompted to remove the full bottles, otherwise it could distort our weight just a little bit. But here goes. That's 7.73 kilos. Not too bad at all. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss another GCN video, then subscribe to GCN for free and you won't miss another one in the future. Now, if you liked this Colnago, how about clicking just down here for a C60 from Gazprom Ross Valley that we looked at at last year's Giro d'Italia. And for John Degenkolb's Trek Madon, how about clicking just down here?